Hi guys, Rob from Rob's Model Cars and today's review is the AB Models Maserati Gran Turismo. Uh, now, if you don't know about Autobahn Models, um, they're based in the United States uh, and they've been a retailer of BBR, MR and a lot of different other brand models. Uh, but recently they have commissioned their own built models. Uh, now obviously the, the fad with Liberty Walk uh, LB Performance cars at the moment probably inspired this one. Uh, and if you can see the picture on the end of the box there, this is the Gran Turismo modified by Liberty Walk. Uh, now we'll uh, start with the box because we haven't reviewed a model from AB Models before. So very, very similar to a BBR style box. Um, just plain black and you've got the AB model logos on all sides uh, and also the label of the model that's inside. So if we lift the lid off the box, uh, it's like all the other style, flip down front uh, and you've got the model here in the plexiglass display case. Uh, now we'll get this baby blue Maserati Gran Turismo out of the box and we'll have a closer look at this new brand of models. Okay, so here we have the Maserati Gran Turismo uh, Liberty Walk Edition. So overall impressions of the model, the stance is very good. Uh, it's as you'd expect from a Liberty Walk car. Uh, it's slammed to the ground on the uh, air suspension uh, and you've got those huge 4 Giato wheels tucked up under the Liberty Walk flares. So overall, uh, impression of the model is very quite good. So as this is a new brand from Autobahn, um, we'll start with the base. So it does come on this uh, heavy timber base. Uh, you do have this photo etched Gran Turismo logo at the front and a limited edition number. Uh, this is number 28 of 30. Uh, and now these models are a sealed resin model, so there are no opening parts. Um, but Autobahn did offer these in quite a few different colours and you could buy them with or without the decals all over the body as well. Uh, so I chose to um, chose to have the, this version with all the decals, uh, with all the Works Nation and the new LB logo decals which are uh, the variation of the Liberty Walk details on some of their cars. So we'll start with the model. Uh, as I said, it is made out of resin. There are no opening parts, but um, behind this big Maserati uh, strut grille, you do have some mesh behind there. Uh, and in the back of the car also, uh, there is a little bit of mesh in there also. And the little side vents here in the wide body front guards, you've got a little bit of photo etch mesh in there as well. Uh, headlights are detailed quite well. You've got a nice little photo etched Maserati badge on the front. Uh, and you do have a carbon fibre decal finish to the front splitter, uh, also the side sill skirt uh, and the rear diffuser. That is just in a matte black. Um, but they've done a pretty good job, I think, on replicating the car. Uh, you've got obviously the central vent in the front of the Gran Turismo bonnet. Uh, you've got these extra little rear facing vents here. The Maserati style three little vents. Uh, continued through into the Liberty Walk flare uh, and you've got these massive big rear flares at the back and the trademark ducktail spoiler also. Now tail lights are replicated quite well also uh, and you've got your number plate there, little photo etched Maserati badge, exhaust pipes, uh, it all seems pretty accurate for the Maserati uh, car that it's replicating. Um, mirrors are your standard style Maserati mirror door handles replicated as you'd expect. Uh, so overall the appearance and the fit and finish of the model is quite good. Uh, probably want to mention too it is a very heavy model, uh, one of the heaviest for a resin model that I felt. Uh, it's up there with the Nissan Skyline R35 GTR from GT Spirit that I reviewed. Uh, as I mentioned in that video also that is a very heavy resin model uh, and this is no exception. There's very quite, quite a lot of weight to it as well. Now obviously uh, being a front engine car, uh, there's no engine detail to, to see at all. Um, but you do get uh, quite a good look at the interior. Now it is a full black interior. Um, but it seems to be replicated quite well. 
Uh, I'm not a uh, massively knowledgeable person on Maserati sports cars, um, but it looks pretty accurate. The seats look detailed quite well. The rear seats are detailed also. Uh, you've got your sort of your factory stereo speaker outlines in the rear uh, deck lid in behind the back window. Uh, and you've also got your vents on the dashboard, steering wheel, center console, uh, and the little clock in the top of the center console as well. It's all replicated quite well. Not sure whether you can see that because it is black and it is a bit hard to see in there. Uh, now the four Giato wheels, uh, they've done a great job on those. Uh, also with the Azenus Falcon tires with the tire lettering. Uh, and you do have a nicely detailed brake rotor and you've got the red brake calipers in there also which is a little bit of contrast to the baby blue exterior colour. So there's still a few of these floating around, I've seen them on eBay in various colours. And if you like your Liberty Walk LB Performance cars, uh, I think it's definitely one to add to the collection. And I was pretty happy with this. Uh, this model when it arrived, uh, quite surprised for their debut model. I think it was their debut model. They've since released the Liberty Walk Porsche 997 uh, as well uh, as GT Spirit. So that's the second model I think that they've commissioned. Uh, so definitely worth a look. So I hope you've enjoyed this video review of the AB Models Liberty Walk Maserati Gran Turismo. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. Uh, please click the like button and feel free to share this video. And stay tuned for more video reviews. Uh, we'll have some more in the next couple of days. So thanks for watching and until next time, bye for now.